So, good evening, quick video from Big Jimny. Uh, not to my usual quality or standard because I broke my camera and it has had to go away for repair. So this is on a mobile phone. Now I know some of you have bought the CD from Suzuki for the Gen 4 workshop manual. And you will have found out uh, early in the year that this CD has stopped working because uh, Flash Player has been disabled. Uh, a number of people have asked me how to get it working. Um, there are two ways of doing this. Uh, the first way is to run it in a virtual machine. I don't know if any of you have seen those uh, sort of virtual machine software you can get for Windows, um, such as uh, Oracle VirtualBox. You can run that up and run a copy of, say, Windows um, XP or something like that in that window, and then you can run the CD from there and it all works. But the easiest way is to use a web server and there is in uh, Windows a built-in web server uh, that you can start up and run the um, software. So um, at risk of uh, uh, get, making you seasick with my camera movements with this little handheld phone, here's how to do it. So here we are in Windows, uh, move the coffee out of the way and down at the bottom here is a search box. Okay. And you type into there, Windows Features. And this brings up this box on the screen. And again, it probably isn't focusing right, but um, forgive the camera. There is one called Internet Information Services. What you do is you tick that box or check that box there and click on OK. You can see it's already been done on mine because I run those services. OK, when you do that, it will normally run through the install process for Internet, uh, IIS, Internet Information Services, and loads that onto Windows. Then you have a web server already running, believe it or not. If you go back down to this window here, you can type in INETMGR and that brings up the control panel for the web server. And here under sites, you've got your default website. Okay, and you can see default website there and this has got a directory associated with it that directory is inet pub www root so you go to your c drive and you will see inet pub and you will see www root and here you then copy all the files that were on your Suzuki CD. So these are all the files that were on the Suzuki CD, including top HTML. So there we are. We've, that took a few minutes to copy, but as you can see, I've already done it. And then you go into Internet Explorer, you type in the words localhost top H T M L and there you go your Suzuki Jimny workshop manual is all there and working correctly as you can see all the diagrams are loading and all that so Hope that worked, hope that helps you out. Simple couple of clicks and there you go, it all works. Thank you.